or welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome back for another monthly reset so we're going to be reflecting on may and then planning all the goals out for june planning out priorities and obviously assessing and reflecting on what i've achieved the month before now guys there's updates there's things going on which if you follow me on socials or tiktok you will know what's going on if not i'll link my socials down below but i've gone through a lot of changes i'm going to share a few as well as we go through my reflections but may has has been the month for change for me it has been the month of letting things go letting lots of things go um jobs people may has been a very very crazy month for me so i'm really excited to look forward to june and i'm really sensing a lot of people are in this situation where may was quite a wake-up call and then june seems to be the month that we're all really refocusing and getting our shit together so if you haven't already grab a drink grab a notebook we can do this together and i'm gonna dive into my monthly reset so as always i'm gonna start with my social media tracker which finally i am excited to share because we had a really strong growth month in may i actually had a reel that blew up i'll pop it on screen here it's currently at 1.6 million and i gained I think about 13, 1400 followers from that, which for my Instagram that has stayed stagnant for way over a year now was finally the breakthrough that I feel like I needed. And it was all from one post. So you never know guys when a reel might go viral. But we ended April on 14,336 and we're ending May on 16,009 followers on Instagram right now. So I feel like I finally had a growth that just feels like I've accomplished something now on my personal Instagram. And with that, I've had new collabs, new opportunities, which has been amazing. On the breakthrough Instagram, we ended last month on 4,590. And now we're on 4,678. Very steady growth, but growth is still all that's important to me on every channel. TikTok, we ended last month on 4,705. And we're ending this month on 5,228. So again, it's strong growth. It's consistent. It's been consistent month on month. So I feel really comfortable with that. And then YouTube has gone from 3,775 to 3,890. And again, for YouTube, that's been a platform where I've only really gained like 20 to 30 subscribers a month. And I really feel like this is proof that Pivot in my channel might have been the right thing because views are increasing and also subscribers are as well. Tracking socials is really good, guys, because every month I can assess what happened that month. So when I see the growth spurts, I think, right, what did I change in that month? What was my focus? What was my priority? And I can actually track the numbers and assess the trends. So I definitely recommend just making a social media tracker. Mine literally looks like this. It's not pretty, doesn't need to be that pretty. You just need to have the facts, figures, and the evidence to work with. So let's look at my May goals. And I'm gonna preface this, okay? We didn't really achieve that many of the goals in May and that's not a problem because what we did achieve was so much more but we're still going to dive through them anyway because it's important to stay accountable. So number one was pivot my YouTube channel which we did and I'm really loving it. I'd love feedback from you guys. Are you liking the new content? Are you liking the new vibe and the new style? There's a lot to come as well given the journey that I'm on at the moment but I'd love to get your guys feedback. Number two was 4,000 subscribers on YouTube, which we didn't achieve, we're on 3,890. Number three was to push TikTok, and the goal was to hit 6.5K. I definitely feel like I pushed TikTok, but we didn't hit the goal, we're on 5.2. Number four was to launch my Dubai retreat, which I did, and I'm so excited to be taking six amazing entrepreneurs to Dubai. There is still some spaces left as well, so if you want to apply, hit the link in the description box. I'll pop it as Dubai retreat, and you can get some information if you are an entrepreneur craving some luxury experiences, some wealth expansion, some sisterhood connections, some friendships, and you just wanna level up in Dubai in January. So I successfully launched that. Number five was to operate on an 80-20 split. So 80% discipline, 20% freedom. I definitely feel like I have shifted the split. Do I think it's 80-20? No. So I don't think I've achieved it. 
but it definitely is more disciplined now. I've been going to the gym five times a week. I'm eating better. I'm slowly getting on it with my discipline. Um, but it's definitely not the right split. Number six was to start working on my garden. So I've had the grass cut, but I don't think that counts because the initial goal was written to get new garden furniture, make it nice for summer. We just had a heat wave and your goal was on a blanket in the garden on the floor. So I feel like I need to push that one a little bit harder. Number seven was to pay a credit card off and number eight was to pay my coaching package off. There is a chance that both of those things are gonna be done today, but because at the point of filming this video, it's Tuesday the 30th of May today, I haven't done them, so I'm not gonna mark them as complete. I have put them on my goals for the month ahead, but there is actually a chance that even after this video, they'll both be done and both be paid off. Number nine was to start working with a website developer, which I've started doing and just looking at some exciting things with that, but there hasn't been a lot of progress, so it's something that I really need to focus on pushing on her end. Number 10 was to build up the Online Income Academy and generate 7,000 in sales. Guys, do not launch a new product or do not relaunch a product if you are not in the right mindset, okay? I launched a masterclass on this and I knew in my heart of hearts that I didn't feel my best self, I wasn't my best energy, it was kind of a bit, I don't know, like I'm someone that puts my all into masterclasses, calls, and I just felt like this was proof that when your energy is not there, the results don't always come in. So I did get one sale of it, which was 777, but I did not generate 7,000 in sales. And it's something I need to work on as well. It's just making sure I check my energy before I look at relaunching and putting energy behind products and services. And number 11 was to sign another three one-to-one -one clients. So I didn't do that. I've got three, but two came the month before. So I did only sign one one-to-one -one client, which is still to be celebrated, but the goal was three. So I didn't achieve that. And I really feel like May for me, like I said, I let go of a lot of things. So I'm gonna get a little bit more comfy here. So obviously some of you guys will know from previous monthly resets that I started a role as a director of a company in York. I have left that. And to be honest, I'm not gonna comment on the situation because the disappointment on my face is real, but it was just not what I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's not an environment that I wanted to work in, and if I'm being honest, the longer I think I could have stayed there, my mental health would have probably fallen to the floor. It was just not an environment for me, and that was a prime example of, Jess, don't, you don't need to say yes to every single opportunity, okay? You don't need to do it. Check that it aligns with you first, and yeah, I'm not even gonna get into it, but basically I resigned from that position, which means there has been a little bit of a hit to income, but I had to make the right decision. So I did leave that, and now I'm currently solo. Solo, single, working on me, healing, happy, hot girl, healthy girl, that girl, clean girl, okay? And again, it's not something I really wanna comment on too much because there's not, any tea with the situation, I just realized it was time to focus on me and to plug the energy back into myself, into what I wanna do, focus on going traveling, focus on living the last few years of my 20s for me. And that was such a tough decision and one that for me, I've been like what the right thing to do is because when you like do care for someone so much, it's almost soul destroying having to make a decision that hurts so much, but you know it's right. And it was a mutual agreement. Like it's absolutely fine. I just know I need to focus on me and we both need to do that. And the life that I'm trying to live right now is traveling and enjoying life and having experiences and that's what I'm going to focus on. So I feel like May has been a little bit up and down for me. It's been a little bit wobbly, but I have had some of the best memories. I had a beach trip with my friends. I'll see if I can pop the video here, um, but if not, I'll link the YouTube video down as well um, because I filmed it on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, um, but we went to the beach, we had the most beautiful evening, we ordered a pizza, we had snacks, we watched movies, and that to me reminded me, and I feel like this is where I had the epiphany of, this is what my life is meant to consist of, it's meant to consist of a plethora of beautiful memories and amazing experiences, and I was really depriving myself of that by putting my energy into the wrong things, and yeah, I had so many amazing friend dates, so many amazing things happen as well, 
Um, but yeah, it was just quite a pivotal month for me and a lot of inner work, reflection, realization, epiphanies, decisions and with that, I feel like I'm actually going into June as the best version of myself with clear understanding of what I need to do and where I need to be. And I'm currently navigating where I wanna travel. Do I wanna to move to Dubai? That's something that's quite big on my list. Do I wanna to move to Bali? Do I want to just travel Bali? Do I want a European summer? Who knows? And for me right now, I have so much freedom. It does scare me, but it also is such an amazing place to be in that I can really truly do whatever I want. That was a little bit of May reflection. And then June goals. My June goals are number one, to hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Number two is 6,500 TikTok followers. And with that, I need to be consistently uploading. Number three is 16,500 on Instagram. So really, we're gonna push for a little bit more growth. Number four is 5,000 on the breakthrough. Number five is to have my Dubai retreat fully booked because I'm just so excited to really start planning this, booking it, getting everything sorted. Number six is actually to start developing a membership. Now, this is something that I have had the idea since I launched the Breakthrough Society, hence the society element of it. I was always meant to do something with a community feel and... I've launched the most amazing and successful programs and courses and coaching and mentorship, but I really feel like I want something that is just a little bit more accessible for everyone, a membership where anybody can level up, be their best selves, feel amazing, feel empowered, and I feel like a membership is really gonna be the best place for that. So if you wanna keep in the loop with all the developments on that, make sure to follow the Breakthrough Society on Instagram because there'll be lots of updates on there. Number seven is fitness goals. So I want to continue working out four to five times a week. I'm loving it right now. It's part of my glow up. And please make sure to wait until I finish the June goals because I do have an offer for you guys if you wanna stay accountable to me and glow up for June and forever. But fitness is really a crucial part of my glow up. And sometimes it's not part of everyone. Sometimes self-care is. Sometimes Sometimes it's got nothing to do with health and fitness, but for me in June it definitely is. And then eight and nine are to pay off the credit card and my coaching, which I'm quite confident is gonna get done today whilst I'm filming this, but it hasn't been done at point of this video. So those were eight and nine. Number 10 was to sign another two one-to-one -one clients. Number 11 is to heal, and I mean heal. I mean working on myself, reflecting on myself, looking at the areas that I'm not satisfied in, looking at the areas that I want to improve on, and just really working on healing, and listening to my body, getting in touch with really who I am, and rediscovering the version of me that I truly desire to be, who I wanna be in the last few years of my 20s, and there's just so much of discovery and self-discovery that I think is brewing in June for me and really exploring just everything, like where I wanna be, like who I wanna see, just everything. I'm so excited for this next chapter. Um, number 12 is more friend dates. I have been loving my friend dates. We went to the lake the other day in the sun. Obviously I had the beach day. I just feel like I've had so many lovely friend dates. I met Hazel, for those that follow Hazel Wood. I met Hazel in London and we're planning more dates. And yeah, I really feel like friendship is one of the main pillars of 2023 and just spending time with my girlfriends and yeah just make memories like we have so many cool things planned grace is hosting like the most amazing garden party like i'm just so excited and number 13 is more holidays so i really want to look at booking some more trips in i feel like whilst i've got the freedom i need to start booking some trips in so yeah and when i say freedom i don't want that to just sound like i have ended something to go and be free and have fun and be wild or anything like that. Like this is really a self-discovery journey for me and more holidays might mean going to Bali and doing a yoga retreat for two weeks. So just take the way that I approach each point with a pinch of salt and just know that there has been ups and downs for me as well. Although 
I have to say, I definitely know that I have made the right decisions because of my energy and how I feel. And I'm really, really looking forward to June. So with that being said, you are invited to Glow Up with me in June and with the whole members of the Glow Up Challenge. You can purchase the ebook. So the way that it works is I have a 65 page ebook on Etsy, which I'll pop the link down below. You can use the code REVIEW20 and it will get you 20% off, which makes the guide under 10 pounds. We go through decluttering our life, self-care, habits, routines, rituals, goals, intentions, really focusing on us and what we want to achieve and where we currently are. And we also have a WhatsApp group as well to remain accountable in there and really, really push each other to glow up for June and beyond. So the guide is actually for 120 days, but obviously we just take it month by month and make sure that we check in every day and stay accountable. So if you want to glow up with me, I feel like you guys know what era I'm in right now. I am pushing the glow up. I am pushing the self-care, the doing things for you, the treating yourself, the leveling up, becoming the best version of yourself in 2023 and it's six months in guys we are six months into the year when we go into june okay really think about how you want the second half of the year to look and how it's looked so far make that change if you want to glow up okay if you need something to help you stay accountable it's under 10 pounds and you'll have an amazing community supporting you as well which i tend to post in every day and keep accountable myself so i'll pop the link in the bio use code review 20 for 20% 20 off as well and i really hope to see you in the glow up guide now one thing that i do want to say is we are six months in to the year and this is a perfect opportunity to really just pause and reevaluate. Go back to your vision board, go back to who you decided that you wanted to be in 2023. Look at the things that you have been putting off, the things that you have neglected, the things that you have stated are a priority and have left them on the shelf. Really take this opportunity to just reflect and assess how the first six months of the year have actually gone well, the first five months, but we're going into month six, really assess like what have you neglected? What have you done well? What's worth celebrating? And what do you really need to apply pressure and move the needle on in the next month or so to make sure that you are setting yourself up to have the best 2023, okay? Because just because five months have passed doesn't mean the next five, six, seven months need to be the same as the past five, okay? And I'm speaking to those people who feel a little bit behind, who don't feel like they're on their shit the way that you should be. You have the opportunity to change it now, okay? Make that decision to pause, assess, we have the wheel of life in the glow up guide as well where you can really assess every single aspect of life rank it and see how you feel and see what areas you really need to improve on but this is really your time to take your month by the balls work on it be disciplined be consistent and see what can happen even with four weeks of consistency on your habits your routines your rituals because at the end of the day nobody is going to get these goals for you okay and i can sit and look at this and say oh you know like i went through some bits in may which again i did acknowledge but it's down to me whether I get these done. It's down to me whether I push for it. It's down to me whether I check in with my goals every single day and make sure that my priorities align with the things that I am stating that I want to achieve, okay? Because so many of us create these Pinterest boards and these vision boards and we set out what we want to achieve and then we just leave it on the shelf. We forget about it. And then we forget to check in. We just let life happen to us. We don't really go back to what we actually want to achieve and what we actually deserve and desire. And we kind of lose our way a little bit, okay? And if you're somebody that's feeling like that right now, I hear you, I see you, I understand you. And that's why I'm inviting you into the Glow Up Challenge for June. So I really hope to see you there. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this video as well. I feel like I do seem to change the way that I do it every month because... I have sometimes put in my monthly favorites, but this month, to be honest, my monthly favorites have been the sunshine. I have loved having a heat wave in the UK. I've got back to reading again, and I've been drinking a copious amount of caramel macchiato from Starbucks, but like the little sippy cups that you can get in the supermarket. I don't really feel like there's been any products this month that have like changed my life. It's been quite a, kind of like a hermit mode month. 
But yeah, I'd love to know if anyone's going through anything similar, if anybody wants to connect, if anybody's thinking of traveling, especially Bali in the next few months or a European summer, Dubai. There's so many things that are on my list right now and so many things for me to set and assess. And I'm just really excited for these months, you know? There's sometimes we can look at things that happen in life and think, oh gosh, like it's just really sad and it's really crap. And yes, yeah, some things might be really shit and some things might feel really rubbish, but everything comes with an exciting opportunity at the end of it because most times you will either gain a blessing or learn a lesson, okay? And it's what you do with that lesson that catapults you forward and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm an advocate of June. I am excited for June and what can be achieved in the next month. So I'm sending you guys so much love. I know this one was a little bit shorter than normal, but hopefully you guys appreciate some time back. And I'd love to know what your goals are. Obviously stay accountable in the Glow Up Guide WhatsApp group if you join the challenge. And if not, post them in the comments. I'd love to know what your goals are, what your priorities are, any reflections from May. I feel like I need to slow down how fast I'm speaking, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you soon.